Static Electricity, Identifying, Controlling, and Eliminating Static Electricity. Static Electricity Overview. When objects come in contact with other objects, for example, when media passes through the printer, or in the classic example, when you rub a balloon on your hair, the electrons surrounding the objects are lost or gained based on the physical properties of the objects. This temporary collection of excess or floating electrons is called the triboelectric effect, or simply static electricity. In printing, static is often caused by the friction of media moving across a roller or media belt, but there can be many causes of static. Look here at the electrostatic field. Conductors versus insulators. Any object that will guide electricity due to its physical properties is a conductor. Metals, such as copper or steel, are good conductors, as are people. Insulators are objects that cannot transmit electricity and instead gather static. When static is discharged, any floating electrons can move from the media to the printer or from any source to the closest grounded conductor, causing a static discharge. Media is generally a static insulator. Materials such as PVC and foam carry a high amount of static due to the manufacturing process. PVC starts with a high static charge and also has the predisposition to carry a, a larger amount of static electricity. Static shock. When static is discharged, these floating electrons move from one object, such as the media or the printer, to another, such as the operator or a conductor, causing a static shock. Media is an insulator, often containing electrons, while the operator is often a static conductor. Some shocks can exceed 25,000 volts and can be painful and even dangerous to the operator. Eliminating static before it enters the printer is one of the simplest methods for eliminating static and its symptoms. Let's discuss flooring. Concrete floors are excellent surfaces to install a printer. They are rigid, supporting the printer well and reducing vibrations. Concrete is also a very good conductor dissipating static electricity very well. While carpeting can be visually appealing, it is not a good surface on which to install a printer. Carpets have strong insulating properties, so static discharges do not dissipate easily. This causes static to gather instead of dissipating. Always ground printers to earth ground. Remove carpeting beneath printer leveling feet for proper grounding. Equipment on wooden blocks or rubber casters or that is improperly grounded will not properly dissipate static. Anti-static floor mats are commercially available and have shown to be an effective static dispersion technique. Install at both the loading and unloading sides of the printer. Substrates. Knowing your substrates. Consult the triboelectric table at the link shown here. This table identifies various materials, their affinity to contain static electricity, in the likelihood the material will generate a static charge as it passes over metal. Materials such as paper will absorb moisture quickly, reducing static. Paper passing over metal does not generate a significant charge and therefore has a generally low affinity for static electricity. Plastics, tapes, foams, and materials such as PVC contain static that can be difficult to eliminate. Increasing the relative humidity is generally ineffective as plastics cannot absorb moisture. Static for these materials must be ionized off the surface. Selecting media that is pre-corona treated can improve ink adhesion and spread. However, customers should be aware that these materials contain more static and a greater potential to absorb a static charge. Identifying static. How do I know I have a static electricity issue? Let's review some common printing problems. Print defects and artifacts. Static electricity can cause misdirection of ink droplets, and charged media may also repel ink droplets, appearing as overspray in printed images or as ghosting. Print head issues often occur, such as nozzle dropouts, clogging, and shorter print head lifespan. Look at the images here for representations of these types of defects. Media handling issues 
are also a concern. As media is moved, separated, and handled, static can be felt or even heard by the handler. Media may be attracted to itself, making it harder to separate sheets. Media may travel long distances and be exposed to varying conditions, presenting a greater opportunity to gather static. Avoid sliding or dragging material as this creates friction, thus static electricity. Evidence of dust, particles, and debris indicates the presence of a static charge on the media. If anti-static wipes or gloves are not used to wipe the media clean, additional static may be generated. Particulates entering the printer can cause print defects and damage to sensitive and expensive print heads and components. Static shocks are also an issue. Static shocks to the printer operator are a good indication that static is present in the print environment. Touching the printer, finished media, or a table causes a shock to the operator. Another indication is when media passes by the printer monitor and touches it. Static is strong enough to disable the monitor. Printer errors and warnings may also display. In some cases, these print line errors display in the printer software, or unexpected printer error messages may display and appear unrelated to static. Another indication of static in the environment is printer component failure. Components such as print heads, PCBs, and other static sensitive parts may be damaged or destroyed due to excessive static buildup and discharge. Evidence of damage or burning can be seen at the wiring harness connections. Measuring static. How much static electricity do I have? Measuring static. Devices, such as a surface DC voltmeter, can be purchased to measure static electricity on media and component surfaces to determine how effective existing devices are by reading small changes in surface voltage. This can indicate whether the problem is getting better or worse as a new static dissipation solution is tested. Some level of static is present on all medias. However, static levels less than 3000 volts generally do not cause printer issues. These devices can identify the location, strength, and polarity of all static sources, so unidentified static sources can be identified quickly. These devices have the ability to detect variations in voltages within thicker media. Static solutions. How can I solve static electricity issues? Eliminating static. Humidity control. Installing humidifiers to keep a constant relative humidity above 30% reduces the presence of static electricity. Ideal relative humidity range is between 40 and 60% as the greater the levels, the lower the potential for static. Static straps and floor mats, such as straps attached to the operator's wrist or ankle, or anti-static floor mats in the print area, are the simplest solutions to prevent and remove static in the print environment. Install floor mats at both the loading and unloading sides of the printer and in work areas where static is present, such as in a prep or finishing area. Sprays, sheets, and gloves can also be used. Sprays can help to lubricate the media so that less friction is generated, thus less static. However, these sprays may negatively affect media printability. Dryer sheets coat clothing with a layer of chemicals that smooth the clothing out, reducing static electricity. Wiping down media with dryer sheets has the same effect. Wearing static dispersing gloves reduces the amount of static on the media and an awareness of media specifications. Consult with the media manufacturer and the media specifications to ensure proper media manufacturing, shipping, storage, and handling procedures are followed to reduce the static charge. Installing third-party static control equipment, such as static straps, ionizing cables and bars, or copper threads to the printer can reduce the presence of static electricity by carrying static away from the printer media path to a physical grounding location. And it's important to contact technical support prior to installing these third-party static elimination solutions. Additionally, ESD ionizers can analyze the ion levels in the print environment. Based on analysis, the units release either positive or negative ions 
balancing the air, and mitigating the conditions for static generation. Eliminating static before it enters the printer is one of the simplest methods for controlling static and its symptoms. Also, verify your ground points. Ensure that all equipment is properly grounded. Hire a professional electrician to verify facility is properly earth grounded. There are commercially available kits to help reduce static. You can search the internet for many of these solutions. Install as recommended by the manufacturer. Placement is critical in order to be effective. For roll-to-roll -roll printers, identify locations where there is a large distance between the printer and the web. Summary. Static is present in all print environments. Therefore, printer owners should understand how static affects the operator, printer, and the finished product. Static shocks to operators can be painful and dangerous. Static discharges to the printer can cause printer component damage. Proper flooring is vital to controlling static. Knowing substrates and their manufacturing process is important to understanding static behavior. The presence of static can cause print defects, component damage, and generate printer errors. Measuring static amounts and sources helps identify where static is originating and which static elimination methods are successful. Following recommendations for eliminating static can prevent component damage, operator shocks, and improve print quality.